Hello and welcome to In The Hyperloop. In this news pod, we're just gonna be brief. First, we're gonna to talk about Zeleros. This is the Spanish Hyperloop company that was an offshoot from a university team at UPV. And they are discussing in this news article their plans for world domination in southern Spain, as well as a test track, but also their plans for the future in a longer test track. And it's a fascinating read. It tells a little bit about what they do, why they're doing it, how they want to work together with other groups, and how they're getting funding. I'd highly recommend it. They also have a nifty map of this secondary test track that could eventually get built. Really interesting stuff goes LRS. Next, we want to talk about is Hart Hyperloop, the Dutch company. They had a Hyper Summit, which announced the creation of a route. And the project is the Hyperloop Implementation Program, or HIP. This is Amsterdam to Frankfurt. They also had another group called the UnStudio that produced renders of the stations, and we'll see that next. But this feasibility study for Amsterdam to Frankfurt will be run through the Royal Schiphol Group, and they normally investigate how modes of transport can make the Netherlands more competitive in the future. Here is a great DZEN article about those architectural renderings for the European Hyperloop stations from UnStudio. Again, really fascinating um, Hyper Summit by Hart's Hyperloop. And what I found really interesting are these different station sizes, depending on the location, city center on the far left, small airport, edge of city, and a massive new city development. So check out that. There's also some limited YouTube, or sorry, Twitter, hashtag Hyper Summit videos. Check out that, give them a follow and a retweet. I also wanna say that Hyperloop TT um, has made an announcement that they are working on certification guidelines to make their technology safe and reliable. And we'll do another video on that soon. But just to shout out that some of the other Hyperloop teams have other Instagram pages like Glasgow Hyperloop, so follow them. Next, Hyper Poland um, are presenting in Berlin and they've done a lot of press lately about their designs and plans for Hyperloop logistics. Give them a follow on Twitter. Finally, Hy Elon Musk, sorry, with The Boring Company has tweeted more about his bricks and the muck that's being excavated out of those tunnels, as well as this ours article about the tunnel entrance that's pretty close to where they're building um, the tunnel boring machine near their SpaceX headquarters. It's just kind of on the other side of the airport and how they want to include these pretty small elevator lifts into a garage. So it looks like any other building in the neighborhood. Um, I just want to impress on you that these are really small tunnels, really teeny, you know, so it's just kind of an interesting um, development that they want to build these things um, that could fit inside a garage. And speaking of The Boring Company, I want to introduce you to a fellow YouTuber, Will, who's making some really great videos on what The Boring Company is doing, and I'd highly recommend you give him a follow. So that does it for me from In The Hyperloop. I'm exhausted and tired, it's about midnight here, but stay in the loop and we'll be bringing more news pods about the latest news from Hyperloop.